Welcome, Welcome to, to the Mother Daughter Ish Podcast. It's your mama's favorite podcast. And the podcast your daughter always wanted. This is Miss Dawn. And I'm Jalik. From the 713. Houston, y'all. Get connected and stay connected weekly as new shows debut on Sunday, Wednesday, and please check out our Saturday Out and About showcases. Enjoy the show. Please subscribe, like, share, comment, and tell every woman on the planet that you know about our show. Here's our show for today. And Angie. And this month for December, we're going to be talking about what every woman should know. It's December 4th, and we are continuing with our series of what every woman should know. Are you enjoying it, Angie? I am. It's it's stuff that a lot of people need to know and talk about or share because we've already talked about some really good ones. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. So today, our tip is going to be on the lines of shopping. Mm Mm-hmm. And my tip for shopping is to evaluate your needs against your wants. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you why this is important because I just went to Walmart to get some ink. That's all I was focused on. I even parked back by the auto part, walked right in to get the ink and lo and behold, I passed and you're going to trip out when I say this because you know I don't need that. I saw a TV. (laughs) And you know I got TVs that I ain't even got plugged in because you got about like two or three, I think. <laughs> a 75 inch that's been just sitting up for two years almost a year and a half that I have not even plugged in because it came from uh the uh office, you know, in Louisiana. So yeah. Here, but I'm gonna definitely put it in the uh podcast studio. But um but they have this new TV called a watch, W A T C H. Mm. And it's on sale for under four hundred bucks. And what I liked about it is it had Disney Plus already. Oh yeah. yeah. It had the Zoom app, as a lot of TVs have removed Zoom from their their, their oh. network, and it also had the Apple Plus app already in there, which mm. you can you only find that if you buy the little thing, the pod thing, or if you have an iPad in there. And I looked at it and I was like, hmm. And some said, "You did not come in here for this." So I looked at it and I said, "I I do want it, mm-hmm. but I don't need it." And not only do I not need uh, yeah, it, yeah, but good. not only do I not need it, but there's nowhere to put it. It's like well, I don't. <laughs> yeah. Do that. How many so, inches was it? <clears throat> uh, probably 55, and you know I haven't dealt with no 55 inch TV since you was living at home, and that's because I. Yeah, I, that's so 2012. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm either on 65, 75, or 100. So I'm. I, wow. I, I want to feel like yeah. I'm at the movie theater when I'm watching TV with my popcorn. Oh, that reminds me, I need to get some popcorn today. But shopping, make sure you evaluate your want to get your need. It'll really help your budget. It'll help your thought process, and it'll discipline you real good. And I tell you something, when you've got discipline in the shopping arena you can really really save money because then you don't get those impulse buys and and Mm -hmm. I've never been a person that did impulse buying but I do know people that are impulse buyers and I just Mm -hmm. like I kind of look at them like wow how does that happen like how do you decide that you buy a bunch of things that you're not going to immediately use like I don't get it so you know it gets bad though yeah it does it does and then people look back and say oh wow I have more month than money and it's like yeah take some of that stuff back that you're not even using that's still actually in the bag that you bought it in i know somebody that's such like i guess they just really don't have a grip on their impulsive buying that their their tires are bald right now but they would just they would go buy something in the store in a heartbeat rather than get a new tire and you see how silly wanna, it is. you see how yeah. silly is. you need or the want to go to san antonio car. right you see, you see the tires on the car to get you to where you want to be <laughs> but you'd rather buy something that can't even get you to where you want to be because the tires, girl. <laughs> your, we got to move on before I get mad. What's your t- <laughs> uh, Mine um, would be don't believe the hype with all the trendy um, sales that you might see. Sometimes they might be at a certain price and then by the time you get there, it might not even be that same price or it might not have been the price to begin with. Um, like I the air fryer. T- I, blame, I blame TikTok. <laughs> I blame TikTok on everything. Like that air fryer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, my friend had tagged me in something on Facebook about some air fryers on sale at Walmart, but they didn't specify. I was all up and down the comments because I'll do that. 
I was all up and down trying to see what location it might have been, when the sale might have started and ended. Um, that too, and the um, Bath and Body Works candles. That I found that on TikTok. They say. But now wait a minute. Before you talk about the candle thing, even with the air fryer, you sent me a photo with the price up on the air fryer. Yeah. Went to five Walmarts. And I never found it. And they I looked at me too. like crazy. It was actually thirty nine ninety nine. You know, once you see that something is nineteen dollars, you're not even trying to pay thirty nine, even though that's still a good price. Yeah. But my mind says, oh, I want the nineteen dollar one. Okay, let's go with the candles. That yeah. was on TikTok, right? I went on TikTok and they say that you can bring an empty candle and tell them that you weren't satisfied with it. And they, I guess, by policy, have to give you a new candle. I personally haven't tried it. Um, no, nah, this sounds to. too body to me because ain't no way I'm going to sit up and burn the candle down to the nub. <laughs> <laughs> the, as soon as I, first of all, the first point of smelling a candle is if you like it. The second point is as soon as I light it up and I can see how it smells, that means that hardly any of it would be burned. But for you to burn it down to the nub and then take it in, that's a little egregious. And their candles take a long time to burn for one. Oh, yeah. And oh, yeah. second, they... um they it's it's very few candles in there that don't see like you know that you might not like but um i heard that i, I didn't know or never i don't really want to try either to see if it's true but yeah those are the two things um i picked as far as like not believing the hype the trends um because it's gonna get crazy around black friday they're gonna say a lot oh, of stuff it's like gonna get, it's gonna get it, well you know black friday already passed so black friday next year maybe but i'm trying yeah. to tell you people look forward every year to that particular thing because I know people that start the beginning of the year making their list mm -hmm. of things that they want and then they'll save it just for the Black Friday. So now that we're getting ready to go into 2022 and we're already here in December, people who missed sales for Black Friday last month, they'll probably be saying, you know, hey, I need to definitely make sure next year if they got those same TVs on sale, they may be even cheaper than 400 or maybe 200. Cause I've done that. I've saw like back in the day, I'd see like a TV that would be 498 and it was a 65 inch mm -hmm. and I didn't need it. And then, you know, space came available where I did want it or need it. And then if I really needed it to cover that space, like when I got the apartment in Louisiana, I said, okay, mm -hmm. well this year, let me see what they are. Do you know, I ended up getting the 75 inch TV for 298 instead of the 498. Wow. And yeah. it's a Vizio. It's a Vizio. Mm -hmm. So that's a good brand. So I'm just saying that for people who didn't buy those things this year, they may be putting them on their list for next year so that they yeah. can start building up. Because people usually, if they want big appliances, like bigger, you know, like a refrigerator, um, a uh, um, mm -hmm. stove, you know, the big high dollar things that they normally would pay a lot of money for. And like business people, they'll look at the big standing printers and uh, big monitors or something like that. And they'll wait and make their list and they may have like the five top things that they need or that they want even and they'll say okay i didn't get it in for example i didn't get it in black friday 2021 but i'm gonna get it in black friday 2022 because they weren't things that i had to immediately have or need yeah. point, but now i'm gonna be able to save the money up every month i'm gonna wait for the sale and then when the sale comes out i'll attack it yeah yeah, so those are my tips for December 4th in our wonderful series of things that every woman should know. Our podcast is Mother Daughter Ish Podcast. So we focus on mothers and daughters with new women. So these tips that we are giving are for women, but they can be used for any particular person. So you could share these with really anybody that you know, your mom, your dad, your brother, your sister, whoever you want to share it with. But we're just focusing, you know, because our podcast theme is geared toward women and we feel like you know, since the women do most of the shopping in most situations, mm -hmm. um, especially if they're a couple or something, most of the time the women are doing the, you know, the, the no domestic shopping of everything. So these are just tips that we wanted to share. And uh, that's our December 4th tips. They were pretty good. Yes, they are getting really good. And um, on our channel, Mother Daughter Ish, don't forget to subscribe to our, our channel. Please make sure that you also share our channel to anyone you think that might relate to any or all of our topics. Mm -hmm. Also, please comment and like on our topics as well. That way we can engage and have conversations back and forth with you. I see that we already have some um, through our email. People commented on our videos we've posted so far. So I, I can't wait to comment back. And then comment back to them to just let them know that we see them we hear you we yep. we want to engage with you so i'm really liking that and i really appreciate everyone that's supporting our podcast through listening through sharing it through advertising through um we've got a new series that's coming up we're going to hold off on that to introduce it in january but uh, it's going to be a lot of fun also um we are wanting to do more live videos where you can actually see us and 
you know, uh, even do some actual live shows where you could uh, comment and we could mention those comments live. So we've mm-hmm. got a lot of things coming up for 2022 and we really appreciate you for supporting what we're doing because we've got so many great things that we're working on for women and for just, you know, partnering and collaborating and learning. That's what it's all about is learning from one another. And I think if we can learn from one another, then we can just be better people or start to develop those disciplines and better in ourselves one by one. So that's our show today for December 4th and bye for now. Bye.